Chair recognizes the Senator from King George, Senator Stewart, for the purposes of presenting our distinguished guests. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, Mr. President, today, I never did do well with uh, these microphones. <laughs> um, Mr. President, today we have a distinct honor in recognizing uh, Ms. Gladys May West of King George. And on behalf of the Senator uh, from Hanover and myself, Senator from Hanover also represents half of King George, for so those of you all that don't know. Um, Mrs. West is accompanied by her husband, Ira West, her daughter, Carolyn Oglesby, son-in-law, Barry Oglesby, her son, David West, daughter-in-law, Colleen West, and grandson, David West, Jr. And, Mr. President, we're here today um, to celebrate and thank Mrs. West for what I believe are some truly remarkable achievements that have not only impacted the Commonwealth, but the entire globe. Um, Ms. West was born in Dinwiddie County, and at an early age, uh, she knew that success to life was through education, which, Mr. President, is the same thing my mother taught me. Um, she graduated at the top of her high school class, and she was awarded a scholarship to Virginia State University. And there she received her bachelor's degree in mathematics. In 1956, uh, she completed a master's degree, and with unparalleled skills in mathematics, she was hired at the da Dahlgren Naval Proving Ground. She was only the second African-American woman to be hired there. It was in the 1950s through the 60s that Mrs. West um, worked on the calculations as a mathematician that led to satellites and the global positioning system. That is what we call GPS today, and I think many of us use it either in our cars or our phones. She collected information from orbiting machines, focusing on information that helped determine their exact location as they transmitted from around the world. Mr. President, if that wasn't enough, in 1979, Ms. West was made project manager for CSAT radar altimetry project which was the first satellite designed for remote sensing of oceans with synthetic aperture radar. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> After what can be deemed as a, a remarkable 42-year career, Ms. West retired from Dahlgren. She then earned her Ph.D. from Virginia Polytechnic Institute and State University and is now writing her memoirs. When asked about the usage and impact of GPS in very humbling words, and I encourage you all to meet her because she's just a very fine, humble woman, um, she said that the data points could be wrong or outdated, so she prefers to do her own calculations on paper maps. Mr. President, um, I will tell you that we spend a lot of time in this General Assembly talking about barriers and how to break those barriers down to help people. Um, Mrs. West is a lady who shattered those barriers. And in my mind, she is a real trailblazer that should inspire everyone. And I don't know, it was about a, a month ago, I happened to see the newspaper on the coffee table one weekend when I was home, and I just saw this really nice picture of Mrs. West and Mr. West, her husband. And they were such nice faces. I picked up and I started reading. I was absolutely amazed to learn um, that she had developed GPS, so I thought it only proper to, for us to recognize her today in the Senate. So, Mr. President, with that, would the clerk please read the resolution? Senate Joint Resolution Number 168, Commending Gladys West. Whereas Gladys West, a pioneering mathematician and King George County resident, forged a historic 42-year career at Naval Support Facility Dahlgren and made valuable contributions to the development of the global positioning system. And whereas born in Dinwiddie County, Gladys West graduated at the top of her high school class and secured a scholarship to Virginia State University, where she received a bachelor's degree in mathematics. After teaching school in Sussex County for two years, she continued her studies and earned a master's degree. And whereas in 1956, Gladys West's mathemat mathematical talents secured her a position at Naval Support Facility Dahlgren, then known as the Naval Proving Ground. She was, the only, she was only the second African-American woman hired at the facility 
and was one of just four black employees. And whereas Gladys West worked at Naval Support Facility Dahlgren for 42 years, climbing the ranks of the organization while serving as a programmer for large-scale computers and a project manager for data processing systems used in the analysis of satellite data during the 1950s and 1960s, her calculations and mathematical work contributed to the development of the modern global positioning system, GPS, and whereas along with making major technological breakthroughs at Naval Support Facility Dahlgren, Gladys West also met Ira West, her husband of over 60 years, and whereas throughout her career in Naval Support Facility Dahlgren, Gladys West earned the trust and respect of her colleagues for her analytical skill and her ability to accurately calculate complex mathematical figures. Among other projects, she worked on CSAT, the first satellite designed for remote sensing of the oceans with synthetic aperture radar. And whereas Gladys West retired from Naval Support Facility Dahlgren in 1998, she has since earned a PhD from Virginia Polytechnic Institute and State University and begun writing her memoirs. And whereas in a 2017 message commemorating Black History Month, the commanding officer of Naval Surface Warfare Center Dahlgren Division hailed Gladys West for her integral role in developing GPS and noted that her mathematical work had made a significant impact on the world. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Senate, the House of Delegates concurring, that the General Assembly hereby commend Gladys West for her trailblazing career in mathematics and vital contributions to modern technology, and be it resolved further that the Clerk of the Senate prepare a copy of this resolution for presentation to Gladys West as an expression of the General Assembly's admiration for her remarkable accomplishments and best wishes for continued success. Thank you so much, Madam Clerk. I would ask Gladys West to please join us at the front of the dais along with your family.